What's up, everybody? This is Martin PK. It is Byron Cage. Pastor Helen Yorson. I'm Todd Delaney. I'm Dora Zombambo, and you're watching EC12 One TV. Preaching Christ through entertainment. You make Christianity so much fun. Stay tuned. A very warm welcome to the exclusive with show on the EC121 TV channel. My name is Jones Osain, and you are really, 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 really welcome once again. Today, I have a very special guest, and his name is Prophet Patrick Amwakon. And next up, Prophet Beshenkom, and answer on Shenkom. And we have a lot to talk about. So stay tuned. Join the tune in, um, watch this program, pay attention, and of course, and be inspired from it. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hello to the wonderful people of God in Ghana. This is Benny here. And I'm so glad I'm coming to Ghana this year with my dear friend, Dr. Michael. I love Ghana. It's a very special country in my heart. I really mean that. And I know our wonderful Lord Jesus is going to visit us with intense power. The mighty presence of the Holy Spirit is going to be very real, I promise you that. And please come, bring your loved ones and friends with you. The Lord is going to meet you and change your life, guaranteed. I know it in my heart, I just know it already. And the conference will be from October 6th to the 13th at the Destiny Arena of the Maker's House in Accra. You come and believe God to meet you right where you are. Come expecting your miracle. Come expecting a Pentecostal experience, just like the day of Pentecost. Because the day of Pentecost is still happening around the world. And I promise you, the presence of the Lord Jesus will be so real. Your life will never be the same again. I'll see you in Accra, Ghana with my dear friend, Dr. Michael. And thank you, Dr. Michael, for the invitation. I'm so happy to be coming back to Ghana because, like I said, I have a very special place in my heart for Ghana. I'll see you in October. Right, you are welcome back from the break, and this is the exclusive with show. Robert, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, today's the first time I'm hosting here. Sure. Right, sure. right, right, right. Prophet, um, um, we know you as um, a ministry man. I mean, a prophet of God, per your title, we know you are into full time ministry. But um, a lot of us do not know something about your background. I mean, um, how you grew up, you know, how you started life. Can you take us back and, and you know, let's know something in brief, something short about yourself? I always say I'm a boy of God, so I'm a boy of God who is growing every day by the grace of God and with the aim or purpose to impact on lives. I always tell people that even when I was in the mainstream work as in former sector, almost all the people who passed through my hands today by God's grace are managers, either of that company I left or where they moved to. So I believe that that is my mandate. And by the grace of God, I find myself in ministry to champion it the more through Christ. All right, Prophet, um, a lot of people do not know that you have a music background. I mean, I know you You are the founder of TYQ. Yes. It's, it's one of the best performing choirs in Ghana. So can you briefly take us through, um, you know, your musical background? I mean, how you started music to the point where you, you had the vision to form the TY crew. Music, music has always been in me because I remember back, I mean, years back in primary, they used to call me Obo. Obo? Yeah. Hey. And uh, <laughs> those days, I used to rap a lot. Yeah, so, I mean, my aged mates really knew that that was what I was doing. Then after primary into secondary school, I now had a U-turn 
into Christ. Yes, I wouldn't say I wasn't into Christ. I was born into Christianity, but I would say I had my U10 after secondary school. That was when I really had a sense to pursue Christ as a person. Okay. Yes, and most of us go through this where we were born into Christianity and it's like the God your mom or father had introduced to you, but not the God you know. Exactly. Yes, so after SS was when I really came to terms with the God I know. Okay. Yes, that is a God of my fathers. So that was where I, be I began a journey. And I think six years back, yes, six years back, actually, I didn't like this ministry mainstream stuff. Yes, and everybody knew I, I didn't want it. But I think God has a way of using the things that you love so much to still get you into purpose. Exactly. Yes. So because music was something in me, I, I, I one day got inspired by the Spirit to kind of begin a music ministry. And that was when TY Crew began. That was six years back. So I began a music ministry. I mean, I love music. So like it was just for the fun of it. And God said, okay, you're going to use this ministry to also impact lives around the world. And through this ministry, I'm also going to make sure that you raise spirit-filled musicians yeah. who will lift my name across the length and breadth of the world and all that. So this was convincing enough for me to really go into it. So I began TY Crew six years back. Yes. And six years back, you know, the challenges I've, I went through six years back, what God did was God began with me from the top. And he now kind of, he removed the ladder and I had to come down myself. Because immediately I began TY Crew. The first program TY had was the Africa in Worship by okay. Dr. Sonny Badu. Wow, that was yes. huge. Yes, that was huge at Accra Sports Stadium. Okay. Yes. So you can, that is what I'm saying. Like, it, it's so like God lifted up me yes, yes, yes. up there just for me. It was me. a fresh show. I mean, yes. I mean, that is a very big stage for you. Yes. You and TY show. was like barely a year. Wow. Yes. And immediately after that stadium program, we also had another one with TV3 celebrations. Wow. Yes. So from stadium to TV. Yes. So now everybody seems to know TYQ and what we stand for and all that. And immediately after that show, that was where the challenges began. Yes. And the challenges began, one, from the band that I used for the program. Yeah. And two, I was thinking, okay, now at least I think we had 2,000 from that event. Yes. Which one? The, the TV3 the celebrations. Okay, yes. Right. So I was like, okay, why don't we like quickly, I mean, go to the studio and record a What's song. Okay. And I mean, through that, I mean, we can just lift the, the, the whole level to another realm altogether. Mm -hmm. And so we try that. And so every money I had, I just pushed it into the recording with one of the finest, I mean, studio or in engineers in Ghana. But trust you me, that did not do anything. Wow. Yes, the song came out and it wasn't the best. And today I sit back and I realize God had a hand in it mm -hmm. because it's like he took me there, removed the ladder. Then from there, all of a sudden, I, 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 I like, you know, at a point, I'd, I'd want to stop, but I couldn't because I was like, everybody is aware. Everybody, if you stop, it's like you, you are disgraced. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, how come all of a sudden you are stopping? And he, so I had no option than to pursue it. And where I was working, every day, I, like, I wake up from bed and it's like, go and resign, go and resign. Yes. And... <laughs> For me, I know, no, if I resign, what next? Mm -hmm. But I still keep hearing, go and resign, go and resign. So what happened was that I remember the first time I sent my resignation letter to my boss, he told me, no, ah, no, but he calls me, yeah. He said, yeah, I mean, you are one of the most promising young men in the company now. And why would you want to resign? And uh, at least, and it's not as if you are sure of what you are going to do next. So why resign? I said, boss, I 
have something I want to pursue myself. He said, no, okay, you, no problem. I'm giving you four months to go and think about it again. And after four months, you, if your mind is still made up, I mean, you can still come to me. It was as if I was counting the days. Exactly on the fourth month, I went back to my boss and I said, like, I want to resign. Wow. Yeah. What, what did you have in mind, I mean, before you went to, um, or before you wanted to resign? I mean, is it that you wanted to pursue full-time music ministry or you wanted to um, um, preach the word of God or you wanted to start a church? What did you have in mind before you wanted to resign from church? <laughs> yes, I mean, trust me, I, I never, I, I, I was just compelled to. I, just, I, I, I still keep hearing the voice like, resign, resign, resign. And you know, let, let, let me just share this story. I know you laugh, but let me just share, share one of these encounters I had whilst I was working. I was getting money all right, but I don't know what I do with it. I always find myself really struggling because at the end of the day, what happens is that the money I get from work, that was what I was using to, I mean, push T.Y., as a ministry to survive and you know you go to his house you have band to pay i mean sometimes people are staying far places and all TNT that and you and have stuff. to be giving some yeah. tnt yeah. and stuff sometimes you organize programs and tally you run at a total loss oh yes and you know these things don't on you so one of the experience i had was you know as what having only one black suit by then mm -hmm. yes and that was the level life took me. I was ha having only one black suit by then. And this black suit has faded to become red. Yes. And so, but it was compulsory to wear suit mm -hmm. to work. Because I was then a unit manager. Okay. Yes. So then, what I did was that I, I, I looked for an option. And the option I had was to go and buy a dye, hair dye. Mm -hmm. See the black one. Yeah. Yes, I had to go and buy this. And not because I don't get money, but I, I, I sometimes do the calculations. And if I am supposed to take, buy like, let's say, 500 or whatever mm -hmm. to go and buy a suit, I mean, what do I take to rehearse house? What do I get to pay, like, band and things? You go for programs. I mean, you don't get anything. Yeah. And you still have to pay the band and things. So these calculations, I just can't go and buy a suit. So I just go for a hair dye, a black hair dye, and I'll dye the suit on a Thursday night. Because Fridays were for Friday wears. Okay. Yes. So Fridays, every Friday, I'm a happy man. That's I'm right. a happy man not because it's Friday, but because I'll have the opportunity to put on a Friday wear. And exactly. I mean, yes. Probably so, now, in suit of bending. I mean, the, when you die, they sit and, 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 and you rinse. Uh, you, you know, you know the, <laughs> yes, it, it, happened, it happened one day. There was one day where we, I had we, a nice we shirt from a sister, yeah. from my sister, and... Wait, that day it was drizzling, not even, I mean, raining. it was raining. Mm -hmm. By the time I got home, guess what? Aye, aye, All aye. the white shirt was black. <laughs> <laughs> so <I> did, <laughs> yes, yes. So I did this over a period of time, and one day I was desperate. I realized that anybody also I advise, that I encourage, that I bring to me and talk to, I mean, within a short while, the person will just start making life. Yeah. But for me, the person who advises you, mm -hmm. I'm still where I am. So at a point, I was so desperate and I was asking God, like, what is happening? What must I do? And God said, look, I created everybody for a purpose. And once you identify your purpose in life, you will get to your point of rest. Mm -hmm. So from today, what I want you to do is that look for your purpose in life. Yes, and that was one of the reasons that compelled me to resign. Okay. Though I didn't really know what I was going to do, though I had not really figured out what my purpose was, I just resigned. And when I resigned, I, I realized I had also resigned after my resignation letter was accepted. <laughs> yes, then I got home like with the resignation mm -hmm. letter and I was like, ah, but what have I done? Because I have not planned on anything. I don't have anything to live on. I don't have anything to kind of feed on. And I was that type who also didn't like like staying with mom, dad, kind of. Yeah. And I had wanted to be alone. Mm -hmm. Like right from the onset. So I moved from the house, went to rent my own 
uh, apartment mm -hmm. and because i have left the house for long how do you also go back mm -hmm. to like mom and dad and say oh like i've come right right, right. perfect um, still on the ty yeah. i mean it's 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 obvious that yeah. you actually pushed every single money you had yeah. into ty yeah. means that you had the passion for music yeah really I had wanted. A passion. So what yeah. is the state of ty crew right now ty crew now by god's grace is so glorious i would say that ty crew was the point where god used to refine me as a person mm. yes because i remember at a point we organized programs and and we ran at a loss yes i mean your 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 your, your ceo mm. pastor yes, Ismail yeah. can attest to that fact mm. and we ran at a loss and guess what you have to pay this, you have to pay this, you have to pay this, and you have nothing, and everyone is on you. Yeah. You can imagine. Exactly. Yes. And no one is ready to listen to you and all that. And you see, you finish a program, people are happy going home, and you, it's like you have a whole mountain on you. Yeah, there's a yes. wedding. Yes. Yeah. One of the studios in Accra now, I vowed never to step there, and have never stepped there again. The reason why I vowed was that, you know, you go for a studio, sometimes you, you squeeze out and get like three hours wait time mm -hmm. to pay studio yeah. right yeah. and you know how rehearsals go like it sometimes goes into five hours instead of three hours mm -hmm. yes and you go like okay meanwhile you also have like rehearsal fee and things to pay band okay so you go like okay then let me just take this amount from the studio and pay the band guys and i'll come and sort the studio okay so studio man like i'm left with let's say 50 cities please take the 50 cities our next rehearsals i come and pay yeah. and the studio guy will disgrace you <laughs> yes i mean in front of everyone yes then the next time you also say okay then let me rather sort the studio out and go to the band yeah. and come and see the band and guys with this grace you know at a point i had even wanted to change the name ty crew because i saw it to be a bad name mm. because almost every good instrumentalist in ghana was not saying any positive thing no, about no. ty when i call them on board i explain to them i let them know my stance the challenges i'm going through but still i believe god still like just made everyone not to care yes and if anybody is watching you see, you see, when you get to that point where it seems like everyone is rejecting you, nobody understands you, it's not because people hate you, but it's because God w is training you through the process. And if people show that kind of love that you need, you might not be compelled or pushed to still perceive and make him your ultimate trust. Very yes. Well, and that was the point where God took me to. And by the grace of God today, Looking back, <laughs> I have the best of band by the grace of God, led by Contune, uh, Fifi, the basis. Like, I have the best of band. Very well, very and today, by the grace of God also, we have the best of team. By the grace of God, like, I'm able to pay the band at every, uh, every moment. So let's talk about your relationship with um, Dr. Sonny Badu. I mean, you've, you've known him for how long? And, you know, how did you get to meet him? I will say it is God. Yes, because nobody actually led me to him. It just happened. Okay. Yes, it just happened. So when any time I like I'm talking, I just say it's God because it just happened. Yes. And by the grace of God, God granted me favor and all of them. I, I am his son. And most of the things like I serve him personally. <laughs> so, so you can imagine what sons do. I remember God told me that we, with a T.Y. that he gave me, I mean, he's giving me a global mandate to raise like ministers okay. for this end time. Right. And that, and I believe that was one of the reasons why God brought Dr. Sonny Badu my okay. way. Okay. Yes. So it was. Um, it, it, it yes. Was a, so when a, a I see TYQ, him, yeah. so anytime I see him, mm -hmm. I kind of see the future of where I am taking the people who I am leading to. All right. So next one, let's move to um, the next level conference. It's been an amazing conference over the past years. Last June was the fourth edition. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what what inspired you to to come up with next level conference? Yeah. What inspired me was the same thing I said like from the earlier and I realized that most people are also going through those same challenges and God said, "Look, there are countless number of people out there who are also going through this those same challenges." Yes. And that go and you know at that point one of the things i got to know was okay in order for one to succeed in life 
these are the things you need to know. One, you need to know about the God you claim you serve. Yeah. Yes. The, the, the difference between a, a normal Christian and a Freemason or a Buddhist or anything is that, you know, some of these Freemasons, they know everything about these kind of religion mm -hmm. they, they find themselves. Yeah. Yes. They know where to call their God to appear, I mean, as quick as possible. They know how to, are you getting it? Yeah. Yes. So they know everything. But when it comes to us as believers, I mean, we lack so much. Yeah. Yes. And God said, in order for one to succeed in life, the more you know me as a person, the greater your chances, the greater you are to succeed. Mm -hmm. Yes. And number two, the more you know yourself, the higher you succeed in life. So knowing God, who he is as God, and knowing yourself, why you were created on this earth or what you were created to do. So the Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Yeah. So it means the only key to freedom is knowing the truth. What is the truth? The truth about God and the truth about yourself as a wow. person. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So um, what impact has the Next Level Conference um, created on the people who attend um, these conferences? I mean, we, you have um, tangible um, um, evidence of people's lives being changed from the Next Level Conference. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the impact has been awesome. Like, I, I, I think I've lost count. Yes, personally, as a person, or personally, my life has been a life of impact. I always believe in encouraging people. Yes, you know, uh, uh, human beings are created to succeed. Yes. You don't have to pray to succeed. Prayer empowers you. Fasting empowers you. When it comes to success, every one of us is created to succeed, right? Should I prove to you that? Okay. So let's say I'm holding an Apple phone, right? Okay. Okay. Immediately you see this sign. The first thing that came that comes in mind is Apple. Yeah. Right. Right. And Apple has a kind of perceived view mm -hmm. that everybody has. So now, even currently, every young person is looking forward to use an Apple one or the other. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of their brand. Right. I've never met the owner of Apple before. I don't even know where the Apple office is. <laughs> All I know is I'm holding an Apple. Mm -hmm. And it is Apple's responsibility to protect the phone I am using here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the manufacturer, that is the Apple, it is their responsibility to make sure that this phone is doing well. It's serving the purpose to which it's been manufactured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is where I can even send it back to them and say, look, my phone is not working. I need a replacement. Yeah. And they have no option mm -hmm. than to replace it. Yeah. The same way God created us. We are the product of God. Right. So anybody watching us right now, mm -hmm. as a product of God, just as an Apple company will not create an Apple phone, to come and fail in the market. So God will not create you as a person to come and fail in this world. Oh, but this is deep. Yeah. yeah. So God will never and has never created anybody to come and fail in this world. But the key thing to the success is identifying your purpose and living in it. Yes. And my next level conference, that is all we seek to do. Helping people identify their purpose. Or the reason for their existence on earth by discovering it can you imagine a ceo at kumase airport when i when i got to kumase there was this security man who was uh, who came to me and he was looking he, i mean you know the normal thing yeah. we do yes and he needed money and i said why do you need money in fact this is not even where you belong to he said uh -huh. You know, I was dressed in a casual way, so I looked like, I mean, a, a guy in coat. Yeah. Yes. So he was looking at me. I said, yeah, this is not where you belong to. You see, you are supposed to be leading some ships. And you are here as a security man. This is just a diversion of who you are as a shepherd. So from today, live in it. Start from your family. Start from your children. Start from your house. You're supposed to be leading some ships. In fact, you're a man of God. Ordained. 
a baton was passed to you and you have you, you you have left it and you are here as a security man and the guy or the man started sharing tears he said yes it's true who are you i said who i am is not important but what i am telling you you have to start now because time is not waiting for you yes, and he said okay it's true my dad was one of the old pastors like known pastors in Kumasi years back and when the dad was going he was the only one that dad called to kind of say son i am leaving everything into your hands please make sure you don't disappoint me yeah. yes and over the years events have led him to go off path that okay let me stop because and come and find this security work and do so that at least i can feed and in god's own time i can come back to it so what what next um for next level conference for for now we are planning on the last way edition before the end of the year and god willing we will be having a national one yes in accra next year we god willing by march yes march we're having a national one where like Kumasi everywhere will be coming like yeah it, it's going to be like i mean a three days something it's wow. going to be a mind-blowing revealing wow. yes prophet i know you serve under um apostle francis amwakwata yeah that's uh, my dad. yes 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 that's wow. that's fine and i know um you have such a great um gift and you still serve under him i mean you know some people discover that they have this gift and then all of a sudden they want to go and start their own church and all that but you have remained um, loyal to him what 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 is the secret on you know all these years still remaining under under your papa yes uh, i mean the secret is one i love to serve yes and in this end time god is looking for people who are ready to serve not people who are who want to be masters yes you know if you look through my my flyer you wouldn't see ministries yes it's just my name yes and why name you know I, these days everywhere you go like ministries a church mm -hmm. can you imagine if we have let's say institute anaba ministries and you also have uh -huh, jones or sign ministries jones or sign ministries mm -hmm. it means that the same demons chasing is to Anaba Ministries. Mm -hmm. The same demons will come after Jones or Sign Ministries. Or Sign ministries. Wow. The question is, are you fit enough? Are, are you getting it? Yeah. Yes. So you realize that anytime you do not allow God to lead you and you try in any way to lead, you go and you crash. Mm. So the key to greatness in life is to learn to become the best of a server the best of a server yeah all right so um next level conference i mean it's been in the system for quite some time now you know but it's amazing the kind of ministers you are able to um invite you know to the conference and they honor the invitation how do you do that what 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 is the secret okay the the, the secret has been grace yes and like i said when you give yourself well to seven like a father or wherever you find yourself mm -hmm. god grants you some unique grace yeah. that n not everybody has it it's very unique and this unique grace carry you through everywhere yeah yes so what you see is part of the grace that i have as a result of my service in church wow yes or with my father apostle Amuakwata. Yeah. and that i am always proud and humble to say i saw i saw images of the recent one held in kumase and it was power packed I it mean, was the, power the, packed the numbers yes. stand up and it was it was a wonderful and and a spread filled yes atmosphere. and guess what i i just i went to kumase for only a week wow yeah and we had the whole place filled up yes and you know in kumase when you go for the big hall mm -hmm. Yes, the big hall, I mean, takes about 800, like, yes. And we had the whole place packed. Wow. And two, people don't even come to programs early. But guess what? By exactly, four, by 4.30, the place was like half. Half. Oh, yeah. wow. 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 Yes. So, like I said, the people I'm serving, 
they're always winning. So mm. how do I feel? You can't feel. Yes, I can't feel. Before then, I mean, uh, with Dr. Sonny Badu had a program in wait, Washington. Mm -hmm. Yes, DAR Constitution Hall and I mean, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. it was a blast. Yes yes, 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 yes. I mean, my father, Apostle Muakwata, is also doing so well. So, like, I always go like, no. Once, as long as the fathers are not failing, the sons Cannot can't fail. fail. You are not permitted to yes, fail. Yes, but the question is, are you a son? Mm. The question is, are you a son? Mm. Ask yourself these questions. Oh, my own person, no. you know, serving is really really key in 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 ministry yeah and and prophet patrick amwakon is, is is a clear evidence of people who have served and are flourishing from serving thank you so much um your final words you know you need to advise the people out there um, the youth any word of advice for our youth out there yes my final words is that everyone watching right now you are created to succeed as a person yes in fact, success is part of you. But in order to actualize this, you need to identify your purpose. So please, there is a purpose and assignment for everyone. And immediately you identify your purpose on earth. That is success for you. You are wired to succeed. You are created to succeed. And to some of us or to my brothers and sisters who, are also, who have the privilege to serve in churches, please don't be in a a rush to go out don't be in a rush to be a master of your own no serve because the best servant will always become the best leader god bless you the best servant will always become the best leader thank you so much uh, Prophet, do you have a um, social media handles that people yes. can yes so you can you can yes. also let it out so yes so you can you can you, you can follow me on instagram nana dash we underscore Amwakwaji. Okay. Yes. Nana underscore Amwakwaji. Or on Facebook, Prophet Patrick Amwaku. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, can I say a big thank you? Definitely. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. I want to say a big thank you to one, the great people in my life, the great fathers I have. Yes. In the person of Apostle Francis Amwakwata, my own father. Yes. A big thank you to you. You have been a great father. Everywhere, every program I do, you are always there to support me and all. I thank you so much. And also to Dr. Sonny Badu. Yes, I am so privileged. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a humbling experience to see my program being posted on your walls, on every program or event I have. And I mean, Dr. Sonny Badu, I am so grateful to you. Special greetings to the Rock Hill Church and everyone in Atlanta. Yes, and also to TY Crew, God bless you all for being the best of people in my life and the best of family. And lastly, to my wife, thank you so much, my wife and my son, Chris. Yeah. And a big yeah. thank you to the Is CEO he himself, yeah. yes. yes, Pastor Ishmael yes. and Pastor Ishmael. everyone. Thank you very much, Prophet. Thank Patrick Amako, it's been, it's been a pleasure having you here. Yeah. And, you know, I have personally, I've learned a lot of things. Thank um, you. So I think, I think the viewers have also learned um, one or two things that, you know, you can use to actually shape your life. My name has been Jones Osain, and you can catch us right here on YouTube. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this very channel, this YouTube channel. Um, there's a bell right to the side. Just click on it and be the first to get any information or notification as to anything that we drop right here. You can also like our social media pages. It's easy to 12 one tv on facebook and ec 12 one tv on instagram if you want to go to twitter too it's ec 12 one tv don't forget to like and share our videos leave your comments under the comment section let's see what you think of the show and the kind of personalities you want us to interview on exclusive with i leave you right here and hopefully i'll see you next week with another exciting guest stay blessed bye bye